Hello everybody, Imminent Storm here, and welcome back to Stellaris. In the last episode, we renewed our expansion of the Empire. We established another colony over here in Tiffim, and we also um, enlightened a civilization. Instead of infiltrating them this time around, we decided to just straight up enlighten them. We brought them in as a vassal, and we will eventually uh, peacefully incorporate them into the Empire. Um, I am very much in favor of running a cosmopolitan empire with as many different species in it as we can get. Um, but we're probably going to be doing a lot of aggressive expansion as well. Um, once we kind of expand naturally to a point where we can't go any further. And we've you know, gathered up as much territory as we can. But what we do want to do is continue our, you know colonization uh, we have another planet over here we can colonize we have another planet Alpha Centauri we can colonize um, and we also need to um, finish clearing out these hostile aliens um, where's my strike force where are you and where are you going I think we're probably sending our strike force over here. So actually, let's unpause it. Let's get everybody moving. Actually, no, wait a minute. They're docking up here for repairs. Okay, that's what we're doing. And then we're going to send them over here to uh, knock out these hostile aliens so that our um, science ships can continue surveying up this little arm of the galactic spiral. All right. So what I'm probably going to do is uh, kind of hold off on construction for the moment. Let my uh, minerals build up so I can get another colony ship or two um, out of my uh, shipyards. Ooh, new contact. They call themselves the Xaplo or Xaplo State. All right, interesting. Alright, I'm honored to have been chosen by Overseer Inax and Averta to present Zaplo State in all of my dealings with your fascinating species. Okay, so they're probably uh, xenophilic as well. Alright, so. We'll do our traditional militaristic response. Ooh, we already have a colony ship. Never mind. Forgot that I was building one. All right, so over here, let's get you colonized. Colonize the planet, drop you there. Anomaly found. Oop, anomaly? I detected some unusual energy readings emanating from this planet. It might have been a glitch in our systems, or it could be a sign of something more. All right, go ahead and research it. Looks like my fleet is fully repaired and ready to go. So we're going to send them up to this system here, Swir. See what's in there and blow it up. Repair is complete. A leader scientist, Winota Wade, has leveled up. Good. Unidentified Empire declared war on the Serene Kuvarian League. Okay, someone declared war on them that we don't know about yet. Debris analyzed. Oh, there's Zaplo State. Okay. Magnetic reversal. The magnetic field of Tropalum 1 experienced a complete reversal while it was being observed by the TCG Versatile. This rare event has interchange the polarities of the planet's magnetic poles. Fortunately, it was all recorded in by the centers of our ship, providing our scientists with a lot of valuable data. Intriguing. How fortunate. Alright, what do we got in here? 240 power space amoebas. Oh, we've been looking for them. We need a carcass for study. So let's go get a carcass for study. Hostile fleet engaged. Oh, they pack a pretty good punch. 
All right. Oh, we got another new contact. Contact calling themselves the Combine of Mora. Interesting. Speak on behalf of the Combine of Mora, and I've been authorized to bring you greetings. As long as you stay out of our internal affairs, enter the great leader, Empress Dagatum, the first with reverence. I see no reason our for diplomatic relations is sour. All right. Respect our authority. Situation log updated. All right. Ah, Space Amoeba Dissected. The Space Amoebas, the nickname eventually adapted as the official target designator by human forces, are much more complex than anticipated. Their hardy exteriors protect a great number of pockets housing smaller amoebas, creatures that our fleets have observed effectively acting like a strike craft when engaging the mothership amoeba. While superficially similar... Beyond the obvious differences in size, the strike amoeba are much less physiologically complex than the space amoeba proper. Inside the space amoeba, beyond these pockets, lie hundreds of delicate organs, doubtlessly all integral to surviving the harsh vacuum of space. Many of these organs ruptured or were simply incinerated in the process of dispatching the amoeba, leaving us with a largely incomplete carcass. However, xenobiologists assigned to the Space Amoeba Project believe that the process of acquiring specimens is sound and have distributed specific targeting instructions among the military fleets involved. With five more amoebas killed by surgical strikes, specific parts of the anatomy, a complete carcass can effectively be reconstructed. <laughs> Target practice. All right, you guys head back for repairs. We'll bring a science ship over here. Um, we will cue that into, oh, and he just died. All right, so we need to assign a new scientist to this fleet. So let's see, anybody interesting? Military theory, recruitment cost. I guess we'll go with the guy, um, Amar... Jamam Shidi here because he's cheap to recruit, so we'll add him to the fleet. He's a level one. So Winona will probably have to come over here instead and do that research project and survey the system. Instead, you go over here and survey that system. Debris analyzed. Okay, just a bunch of alerts. Okay, so... Have we... Nope, our colony ship is arriving now. Ooh, and we can build another... Colony ship. Uh, oh, we're still... Construction complete. Oh, no, we didn't finish. Uh, scanning this system. Anomaly found. Uh, strong energy emanations of an un unknown origin make this asteroid stand out from the rest. Okay, go ahead and research it. And actually, you need to come back here and finish the survey of the system once you're done over there. System survey complete. All right, so now we're running another a power deficit. This is an issue early in the game. Power. Anywhere we can build some power. Oh, well, we can probably build the mining stations there. It doesn't look like anywhere else I can build power. Exotic radiation, hmm. This particular asteroid is an extrasolar capture and appears to have been washed by some kind of exotic radi radiation as it plummeted through interstellar space before finally settling in the Rama system. The original source of this radiation remains unknown, but the TCG emissary has been able to pick up a wealth of physics data by studying the asteroid's nearby emissions. Okay, or energy emissions. 
Uh, good physics research. That's what we're kind of behind on right now. So actually, Earth. Let's go see... Anybody... Where we can build a power station. So let's actually move you here. And let's build a power plant there. In New Ankara. New Tokyo. Can we upgrade this? Not yet. Debris analyzed. Anywhere where I can put... No, not really. Uh, I have Vonkir 2. I mean, all kinds of guys that can get upgraded. But not power generators. Though we're building a power generator there. Uh, there's power here, but we need to clear the volcano Research first. Complete. All right, new Istanbul. Construction complete. Construction complete. Uh, what's the food look like? Actually, we do need someone working food. So we can't really do anything there yet. Alright, so we'll just have to wait till the, uh, the colonizations finish. Ooh, we finished Aurelium mining. Reveals Aurelium ore, strategic resource. is a very dense, unstable element that can be used for powerful explosives. Ooh, that sounds fun. Alright. Robotic workers. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and research the robotic workers. Now, do we see anywhere where we actually have this resource available? Has entered the ended the rivalry with Servine Kuvarian League. Okay. The unusually deliberate geometric configuration of mineral drifts or minerals drifts through the debris. Belt HAL 233D and is possibly of alien origin. 45% failure risk. Let's bring Winona over to do that uh, anomaly research because she's going to be better at it. Um, I don't Systems see any of this complete. stuff. Construction complete. Oh, colony ship. Alpha Centauri. Colonize the planet. Construction ship. I'm looking to see if I can see this stuff anywhere. Uh, I don't see... I don't see any of it. Anomaly. Rivalry ended. Rivalry ended. System survey complete. Fleet order finished. Leader, uh... Leveled up. Crystal Codex. The mineral cluster is a holographic record. Multi-sided, many-edged, and translucent. It remains secure in the TCG Versatile's tractor beam, but our experts will need some time to decode its contents. A special project has been issued to expedite this process. Situation Very well. Where is that, uh... Well, we'll queue that special project into the Versatile's schedule. Alright, so... New Istanbul, so what we probably want to do is name this. We're going to keep naming this after uh, major cities. We're going to call it New Osaka. Let's call that. I'm 
the process of surveying. Maybe one of these other planets that we're going to... Um, system survey. Our systems that we're going to survey over here might have that resource we want. We got lots and lots of minerals. Or, yeah, minerals. So let's get some stuff built. Mining stations. Mining stations. Look at some more of that uh, Beltharian stone, which means we'll be able to build the Beltharian power generators. Which means more power. Alright, that's my strike force. So let's actually start building some more fleets. Uh, let's say complete. a couple of destroyers. Special project complete. All right. Let's see the Crystal Codex. The holographic data documents, in terms and can uh, for trilateral trade treaty between the three major alien pow powers that once dominated this quadrant. In the galaxy context eludes us and the details are meaningless but science officer Winona Wade feels that this find will prove invaluable to improving our own ability to communicate with alien forces ah, fascinating all right so science ships start surveying these systems here see anything interesting there, not really. We throw a Corvette or two in there. Yeah. So a couple of ships. We send our primary strike force back to Seoul. To pick those guys up once they're done being built. Actually, I can specifically tell them. Ooh, Chim civilization encountered. A primitive alien civilization. They recently left the medieval age behind them. Scientific knowledge is spreading rapidly, and the armies of their petty kingdoms are equipped with crude gunpowder-based projectile weapons. Okay. Alright, so you guys come over here. And... Enter Earth orbit. Alright, how long was it until we could integrate them? 2248, 1102. Okay, so four more years we can get them integrated. Colony established. Alright, colony established. I'll have to come up with a name for that one. Haven't decided yet. Now, one thing we do actually need to start doing is... Um, engaging in some diplomacy here. We have some large empires here. They're xenophobes. Fanatic militarist xenophobes. Oh, we got a bunch of research done. Um, that might not be a good idea. The fanatic militarist xenophobes sound like someone we want to uh, we want to eliminate as a potential threat. They're collectivist and fanatic materialist. 
They have superior relative power. Let's go ahead and establish an embassy with them. And the Serene Kuvarian League. Let's see these guys. These are fanatical xenophobes. Again, another potential threat. Now, these guys are part of an alliance. Fanatic xenophiles. Spiritualists. And they actually like us a lot. So they would actually accept me into their alliance. I'm not sure I entirely want to do that just yet. Um, let's see. Offer trade deal. Will we be able to get anything out of them? Let's see. Let's see about their star charts. They'll take the star charts. Let's at least do that for now. And we need to get some new research done. Okay, so hyperdrive 2 unlocks subspace sensors. Survey speed plus 5%. Uh, let's go with the Cloud Lightning. Unlocks building Ministry of Benevolence. Cost Ethics Divergence minus 15%. Uh, amoeba Breeding Program. Unlocks Component Amoeba Flagella. By breeding space amoebas in captivity, we can program their symbiotic flagella to act as organic strike craft for our navy. Ooh. That sounds cool. Um, nuclear missiles or space torpedoes? Well, nuclear missiles are going to be easy. Let's go get those first. Ah. And they accepted our star charge exchange so now we know a little bit more about what's going on in their territory the united signer commonalities joined the galactic pact okay so these guys more centralized states. These guys join the alliance of this guy, this guy, and this guy. So these four guys are in an alliance now. So if they have the technology, they could form a federation if they wanted to. Um, ooh, we need to keep our science ships working. Um, you go over here and survey, you go over here and survey. And our construction ships need to keep working. Oh! This is them over here, hasn't been surveyed, but let's get you over here. Building mining stations. Let's get you over here building mining stations. No habitable worlds here. Strike forces. We can merge them together. Uh, spaceport upgrade, level four. Oh, we got some stuff we can put in this spaceport. A really implant. So you don't have many Aurelium yet. System survey complete. Crew quarters, ship upkeep minus 20%. 
ship repair speed, repair cost, model ship upkeep minus 10%. Uh, let's go to the engineering bay. Let's, let's build that. And we do need to start adding more um, shipyards to our empire here so that we you know, have a little bit more flexibility in how we're going to be operating. Our construction ships are done. You don't see... Research complete. Uh, build some mining stations there. Uh, let's get you back over here and have you survey this system here. Now, uh, they're not making any food. So we need somewhere where we can get some food. Uh, we're probably going to have to build a hydroponics farm and move one of these guys over there. Alright, this can be upgraded. Have three more Beltharian stone. The negotiations for appointing a new Grand Marshal are underway. The decision will be announced. Ah, because the Grand Marshal died. Okay, so there's only one person. No, well then I'm not going to spend the the influence. Uh, let's see, fusion missiles, advanced space port, metal storage capacity. Let's keep working on the spaceport improvements. Alright, so you, let's build a... Construction complete. Our requires planetary administration. So, let's do this. Let's replace... Because this current building produces four, a Beltharian will produce six. So let's replace that with that. Replace these guys with Beltharian power plants on Earth. System survey complete. And can we actually upgrade Earth's spaceport? No, because we actually don't have the technology for that. So let's do this. Um, yep, has been chosen a new ruler and will reign until their death. Does that actually mean that I can build a destroyer? Yes. Let's build the destroyer. Which is going to be our new ruler's personal ship. Over here, let's have you build a spaceport. We'll go with guns. Build a spaceport. And let's have these guys. Oh, they can't build a spaceport. And they probably need a governor. Let's see, planet summary. Let's actually get these guys on straight up food. And build a hydroponic farm. Construction complete. We 
should be able to build a spaceport here. Right, let's have this guy continue surveying systems. And this construction ship Declared on somebody. Right, system survey complete. No interesting strategic resources complete. here. Ah, forgot about that. Is that a uh, new destroyer built yet? Here's it is. There it is. So let's send this fleet over here. Uh, small rectangular object on the surface of this moon is deflecting all scanning beams like a mirror. Our sensors are unable to determine its material composition. Okay, let's research it. Let's send our combat fleet over here because forgot about these guys. Abyssal Host Chasmal Horde. Hmm. Alright, science ship. Head down here. Construction ship. Build mining post there. Oh, alien mural. While conducting surface scans of Devasa 1A, science officer Winona Wade and the crew of the TCG Versatile discovered what appears to be an artificially carved slab of rock covered in ancient writing, or alien writing. They have not detected any other signs of alien activity on the moon, and exactly how this mural came to be here is a mystery. We repaired a special project to translate the text. Okay. What system are you in? Alright, then let's queue you in to that research project once you're done the survey. And this construction ship. Uh, anything important we need to build? Yeah, let's actually get you over here and build some research stations. Oh, another new contact. Who are they? The Union of Tholakin. Wealthy elites of the Union of Tholakin. We're always looking for new trading partners. Hopefully come to some sort of accommodation. Okay. Not sure what we're going to find here at this black hole. Ooh. That's not going to work. Okay, we need to get out of there. Never mind. And you guys instead, let's get you over here. Oh wait, that's a construction ship. Science ship. Come over here and survey the system. There you go. Construction ship. Build mining stations. Construction complete. System survey complete. Alright, system survey is complete. And we're going to do that special project. Alright, so let's bring you back uh, to Seoul. Dock you back up. We're going to need a lot more firepower if we want to clear that system out. Let's 
Speaking of firepower, one thing I want to check here before we end the episode, because we're getting close to the end here. Um, do we get anything new and interesting to put on our ships? We got some nuclear missiles. Um, but right now they're probably not as good as our rail guns. So if I say, yeah, they're not anywhere near as good as rail guns. And this guy, and same thing. Now, we didn't improve our deflectors or our power generators. Oh, what we did do is get better hyperdrives. Uh, but it needs more power. Um, Oh, and I, I gotta remember that I have to actually save, or it doesn't actually stick. Okay, there we go. We can save that there. So then what we can actually do is bring these guys back for upgrade with the better hyperdrives. And it looks like the... These guys established an embassy with us. Ah, we're almost there where we can uh, start um, absorbing them. They're pathetic compared to us, but they're loyal. Actually, do they have a fleet? They, in fact, do have a fleet. A not insignificant fleet. So we'll actually acquire that when we integrate them. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead we're going to end this episode here. Uh, things are coming along. We got some new colonies formed. We're about ready to integrate uh, our, the vassal into our empire. And we're able to clear out some of the hostels so we can continue our exploration of the galaxy. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.